So today, we're going to learn the verb to be in French. Now think about in English, the forms of to be in English are is, am, and are. And so think about how many times you use is, am, and are in a conversation. A lot, right? So this is going to be a verb that is really popular in conversation in French, and it's going to really help fill in some gaps in your conversation. So get ready to write. Nous allons écrire. We're going to write. And let's get the verb to be in French. Now, first thing I want to do is tell you what the verb to be is. It's this word, être. Être. Remember that R is back here? Être. Now, notice there is a housetop accent on that E. So that's something you kind of want to put in your mind and just let it imprint. And just so you'll know anytime you write it to put that accent there because accents are important in other languages. Okay. Now, now that you have the verb, to be, être, just take note the fact that anytime I'm going to say to be, I'm going to say être. I'm going to be there early tomorrow. That's être. Or one day I want to be a lawyer. That's être. So if you're going to say literally the words to be, that's être. But here's the thing. We can't say être with the pronouns like I and you and he and she and we and they. <clears throat> we can't say that because if we were to say je être, well, we're saying I to be. And that doesn't really make sense, does it? So we have to make some changes, just like we do in English. We don't say I to be in English. We change to be over to am. So it's I am. And we change it for to is for he and she and it. So he is. So we have to make changes. We do the same thing in French. So I want to show you those changes on the chart. Here it comes. Now notice, you know, we learned this chart before and when we were talking about pronouns and I told you that this chart was going to be a, a visual organizer for you. Well, it is. And today you're going to really start to see how that happens and how that works and how you can organize things. So I want to put the pronouns next to each uh, box of the chart. Okay, so on the left side, we're going to put them uh, on the left out here outside the chart. And we have je, we have tu, and il, elle, and on. And then on the right side, we're going to put nous, vous, and il, and elle for the two forms of they. Okay, now I'm going to tell you each word that goes with those pronouns. In other words, these are the forms of être that we would use with each one of those pronouns. Make sense? All right. Now, so with, on the top left, with je, we would use this word, sui, sui. Remember that u, i sound has that oui sound like we're saying oui. Yes. Okay, so je sui. Je suis, not saying that S at the end. Consonant at the end, we're not going to pronounce it. Je suis. So that's how you say, I am. So the I is je and the suis is the am. Okay, now let's move down to tu. We're going to put the word E, which is E-S. Tu es. And we're not going to say that S at the end again. Just tu es. All right, now on the bottom left, we're going to put one word, and that is also E, but we're going to spell it E-S-T. Now, E-S-T, E, goes with il, it goes with el, and it goes with on. So now you're kind of starting to see we're grouping il, el, and on together. It's because they use the same stuff. They use all the same tools. So he is would be il, e, she, she is would be el, e. And one is, one in general, just a person in general. On est. On est. Okay, now let's go to the top right. The new form is going to be some. Some. Okay, so we are is nous some. Nous some. Now down below that, the vous form is et. Et. It's got that same accent as être itself to be. So, vous êtes, that's you are, plural, talking to a group of people, or it's you are, vous êtes, talking to one person that I want to show respect to. 
Okay, and then at the bottom right, we're gonna put the word son, S-O-N-T, son. So that goes with il, the, the guy or mixed gender version of they, and elle, the just girls version of they. So ils sont, they are, and elles sont, they are. All right, now I wanna give you just a couple of phrases that use these uh, in context. And in order to do that, I'm gonna teach you this word, de, D-E, de. That means of or from. So we're gonna ask someone just a simple question, where are you from? Now in French, we have to flip it around and say, from where are you? From where are you? So that would be de, and then after that you have the word ou, which means where, and then I would just simply say, are you? But here's a rule that we're gonna talk about again later. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Notice that de ends with an, a vowel. Now, ou, the next word, ends with a vowel, or begins with a vowel, right? So when that happens, we're gonna take the, the first word, we're gonna take that vowel off, and we're going to combine it and make an apostrophe. So what we have is du, okay? Du, from where, and then are you, we wanna use respect because we don't really know that person well yet, we're getting to know them. So you would say, du et vous, du et vous, from where are you? Now, let's answer that question. Someone asked, where are you from? Okay, I am from Greece, for example. Je suis de Grèce, je suis de Grèce. I am from Greece. I am from Germany. Now watch this. Je suis d'Allemagne. Je suis d'Allemagne. Now notice Germany starts with an A in French. And so we're going to combine I am from Germany. In, de ends with a vowel and Allemagne begins with a vowel. So we combine it and make D apostrophe. Je suis d'Allemagne. All right. Now, friends, that's just one way that you can use être in conversation. What I encourage you to do is, first of all, get down the forms of être. Je suis, tu es, il, elle, on est, nous sommes, vous êtes, il and elle sont. Get those down and start trying to use them in conversation in any way you can. You may want to go out there and research online some description words that allow you to practice this with descriptions. Just an idea. So that gives you a way to practice in conversation. All right, practice être, and we'll be back soon with another lesson of the Language Tutor. I'll see you soon. A bientôt. Friends, thanks for watching the Language Tutor. If you have a question for me, feel free to leave it in the comment section below the video. And please click subscribe and the notification bell so that you'll never miss any of our language lessons.